Ecolab is a water technology, food safety, and hygiene technology company serving 3 million customers in 172 countries. And we're terrifically excited to be a co-founder of the Water Resilience Coalition. It's very important that all of us understand water's role in our business. We have historically taken this for granted. All of our processes were basically built upon the premise that water is going to be plentiful and free forever. That was true for about 100 years. It's not going to be true going forward. And so understanding that relationship is going to be absolutely vital to all of us. Well, the Water Resilience Coalition is really designed to get a group of leaders together and help forge a path because we really do need to do this collectively. We need a strategic approach. And that means we need to understand where water stress is most real. Water is not uniformly spread across Earth, nor is water consumption uniformly. We need to understand where high consumption meets low availability and focus on those areas in the most rapid way possible. That takes collective action to make that happen. What we're looking to do is three key things. Number one, we want to all commit to, in water stressed areas, becoming net positive from a water standpoint by 2050. The second thing that we want to do is make sure that we all create water resilience in our own supply chains. And then the third, from a leadership position, is make sure that we get the word out the word about the water risk, the word about the coalition, and how collectively we can make a big difference here. Every CEO should care about water stress, and one of our jobs is to make sure that we manage risks. And the water risk is very simple. It is simply supply and demand. Water is finite, and we know demand is increasing. And so as a consequence, we know there's gonna be a significant shortage in water needed and water availability as early as 2030. There's a lot of conversation about climate change and we talk about cities at risk from rising sea levels. What we don't talk as much about is the shortage of fresh water. And it's really fresh water that's so darn important to agriculture, but also to all industrial applications and you are gonna see huge shortages around the world. The estimate is that nearly half of GDP by 2050 is gonna be significantly impacted by water stress. I think it was important that we join because we've had a front row seat to this water challenge to date. And we also know that through our know-how and our ability to work across industries, that we can help. But most importantly, we wanna make sure that people understand this issue. It's coming, it's real, it's gonna impact every industry. It will impact GDP. And if we do get in front of it, we're gonna be in a much better place. If we don't, we're gonna be managed from a crisis standpoint. And all of us would prefer to do this proactively than through crisis.